Hey you guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what I personally think are the best first mods for your TRX4 uh, Bronco or whatever you have. Um, obviously if you have the TRX4 Sport it's going to be a little different because it doesn't have locking differentials, it doesn't have, it's a smaller uh, chassis I believe, so there's going to be those differences, but uh, yeah. So some of the first things that are probably going to be the most important and helpful is definitely going to be your wheel and tire setup. Um, just the factory tires and wheels that come from the factory, they just don't hook up well. You know, you're sliding down the rocks and it just doesn't climb very well. So I actually went with uh, Enjora. It's like a knockoff, I guess you would say. So these are Enjora wheels. They're beadlocks. They're, they are true beadlocks. And these are Enjora tires. I think altogether, wheels and tires, I spent like, shoot, I don't know, maybe a maybe a hundred bucks no more than a hundred bucks for wheels and tires which that's pretty impressive to think about it because i mean shoot just tires for like the name brand ones are you're going to spend like around 50 60 dollars on just tires and then the wheels i think it's like 50 to 60 for two like legit ones and these things i mean look at the quality is there like these are not bad wheels at all I, they work amazing i mean yeah they're they're perfect and these are 2.2s so these are 2.2 tires too i went with a bigger setup just because it's got a big lift but yeah it's it's a pretty it's a pretty uh, cost efficient setup and it looks amazing and they have a bunch of different designs so i highly recommend enjora if you guys are looking for inexpensive but good quality so yeah go ahead and check those guys out for wheels and tires um let me think what else what's another good cost effective um, the lift kit that Traxxas sells, it's not very cost efficient, but I do highly recommend it to give you more travel. Well, if you buy just the lift kit, it's not going to give you more travel. You're just going to get a, a higher setup, but for some reason, Traxxas, when they built these things and decided to build the lift kit to add on, which is the lift. You get like these bars, these bars, these bars. You get the full four link set up front and rear. Just extended and then extended drive line shaft pieces. And yeah, it's not the funnest to uh, put on, but when they did it, they, they put the shocks that came with it were garbage. I mean, it's literally all that you get with the lift is a lift and no extra travel because the shocks have like bump stops in them that keep them from doing more travel so is what i did is i went on oh, i think it's yeah racing makes these shocks but they're the desert lizards and let's see if you guys can see these desert lizard shocks they look awesome i mean look at those 10 times cooler than a coil spring but so how these shocks work is there's actually the spring is actually inside of this shaft, or inside this housing. And you got your shaft up and down. But yeah, I think these are 120 mil. So you gain like 40 millimeters of travel, which is insane. I mean, let's see if I can flex this thing out for you guys. What do I have here? Uh, well, I'll just show you guys. I mean, look at that. Pretty intense travel. Okay, let me grab a, the stock TRX4 and show you guys the difference. One second. Let's just uh, give you guys a comparison. Now this one, this one isn't the best to compare to because it has tracks, but... So for a comparison, I mean... You guys probably won't be able to see, but... Way more travel, so... Yeah. Now, this is so... Let's compare these two. So this is the sport. This is your uh this would be just a regular TRX4 Bronco, and this is like the cheaper version, but it has tracks on it. So with tracks, they sit about the same height. Because these tracks are huge. So imagine these tracks on this truck. I mean it'd be ginormous. But um yeah, so this truck actually doesn't have any lockers, so that's a downside of the TRX4 tracks or the TRX4 sport. It doesn't come with lockers. Um it also is, I, mean, I believe, I read that it is a smaller chassis. It's not as long. So, you know, you're not going to have as much flex zone when you're crawling and stuff. But 
we just bought this thing because it's sick. It has tracks. I mean, it's got the it's got the roof rack. It's got the light bar up here. It's got your. It's funny. These are like real too. I, I thought this was cool, but it has like your real traction uh, slip bars, and then you got your gasoline tanks. I don't know if you can see that. Got your gasoline tanks. So yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. This this might be for a different video. I don't know. We'll see. I've never actually driven that thing, so I'm not sure how she handles. But yeah, back to the main truck. So you gain so much uh, travel with these shocks, and they're like 60 bucks for all four, so it's pretty cheap. I think the lift kit, if you buy the non-colored ones, like 150 bucks. So you're looking at 210 dollars for a full makeover, or you can just piece together the lift kit because uh, Traxxas does sell just the individual parts. So I think you could save a little bit of money there if you just leave the shocks out. But another thing that I've done, let me show you guys. So this thing has the full headlight kit, cheap, cool mods right here, the headlight kit and the underglow kit. So let me go ahead and turn this thing on for you guys so I can show you. I'm not sure if this is plugged in. Yes, it is. Okay. So let me just go ahead and plug this thing in for you guys. This thing is super dusty. It hasn't moved in a while. Plug it in, turn it on. But as you guys can see, full light kit. And it's, especially the underglow, the underglow is the simplest thing to install. So you have your front lights, blinkers, side marker lights, uh, rear side marker lights that work. Rear tail lights that work. I got rid of the rear bumper for clearance. That's another easy way to gain some clearance on these things. Just take the bumpers off. Don't, there's no need to spend $130 on bumpers that just look decent. I mean, I think it looks 10 times better without bumpers. It looks cool. But yeah, we got rear tail lights and then, of course, the underglow. I don't know. Let me turn this light off. So, there you guys can really see. Pretty cool, huh? I think it, for a pretty cheap mod, I mean, it's pretty sweet. So, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else might be done to this thing. I really haven't messed with this thing in a long time, so it takes me a minute to remember. Let me go ahead and turn this light back on. But, you know, the light kits, if you just like working on your car, you want something to do, want something to make her shine a little bit more, make it look a little bit cooler, highly recommend the light kit. Um, I think everything else on this thing is really stock. Oh yeah, um, another quick easy tip, lift these sliders up, or slide them in, so you have more uh, travel as well. So you can literally, there's free stuff you can do. Remove the bumpers, um, put the uh, your rock sliders all the way in, to gain more area, more clearance. Um, is there anything else? Oh, servo upgrade. Yeah, the tracks a servo upgrade. Another great mod. You can see it in there. It's the red servo. You guys see that? That's another good one. It's like about a hundred bucks. Uh, the stock servos in these things are garbage. They actually go out on you. So probably recommend changing that. Uh, one thing that I have not done to mine that I will be doing eventually is the hobby wing uh, full motor upgrade. So replace the motor, speed control, and that setup is probably the best setup you can get for a crawler is that hobby wing setup. Um, it has like an app that you can adjust things. You can literally make it crawl. So it is brushless. These, these come stock brushed, um, but they move pretty good, especially because you have your gear selector. At your two different speeds, high, low. But, uh, you know, these things, I've seen videos on it with the Hobby Wing engine set up, and man, it just looks amazing. They crawl at like a mile per hour. It's insane. Like, it doesn't look like, because I always, when I think of brushless, I think of like insane 60 mile an hour, torquey, crazy. But, yeah, that Hobby Wing motor setup, how you can adjust all the settings, you can make it just crawl, and it'll actually crawl on its own. You can literally just like, I think you like hit a button and it just starts crawling on its own. You just steer at like half a mile an hour. So super cool setup that I will be doing eventually. 
um, it's just kind of, I think it's like 200 $300, so I don't really want to spend that kind of money on this thing if I didn't. it's just sitting right at the moment, especially in the winter, because over here in Washington, it just rains like crazy, and yeah, it's actually raining right now, but we're going to go outside and show you guys how this thing crawls with all the upgrades that's done to it. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this thing, so why don't we uh, take this thing outside and go show you what, what she's got. Um, it will handle 10 times better than like any stock TRX4 Bronco, so just keep that in mind. It's got the upgraded grappler tires, it's got the 40 millimeters more travel, so way more clearance. So if you have a stock one, it probably won't crawl like this, but you just do these, if you just do like, I'm trying to think what that would cost for everything, probably let's say like $350 in upgrades and you could have one that crawls just like mine. Maybe less. I mean, 100 I'd say like $270 if you just go for suspension upgrades and wheels and tire upgrade. And you could have something that just is an insane beast at crawling. Because you honestly don't need to upgrade the motor unless you blow it up, which my buddy blew his up and now his just sits. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing outside for you guys and show you how she works. Okay, guys, real quick before we go out and drive this thing, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, two other things or two to three other things that I'd like to uh, talk to you guys about real quick. So with these things, I highly recommend running a LiPo. Uh, this is a Traxxas LiPo just because of the connections that it takes. So three cell LiPo, 5,000, thing will last you as long as you're going to crawl. Also, behind these wheels, we have, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but little black things in here. We have wheel spacers just to give you a wider, uh, more area more width for crawling. Right here we have uh, some Yeah Racing uh, diff covers. We have one right there and then one in the back as well. And that's going to help with looking, first off, looking way cooler. Sorry you guys. Looking way cooler as well as uh, having more weight down low to keep you uh, from maybe less a lesser chance of flipping. And those are like $10 a piece. so. Pretty cheap mods. The battery, I think, is going to be like one of the most expensive, which is like 80 to 100, which you're going to need a battery drive this thing anyway, so you might as well just go out, get that. And then I think the wheel spacers, I think they're like they're like 10 mil, or not 10 mil. Uh, yeah, I think they are 10 mil. 10 mil wider uh, spacers, and I got them off Amazon for like 10 bucks. So, yeah, that's gonna, let's go ahead and go out and drive this thing. and show you guys some stuff. The battery is a little dead, so uh, she's not going to be at her peak performance, but she still crawls like a beauty, so let's go out and rip it. Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, let me know if there's anything uh, that else you guys want to see with this thing. I don't drive it much anymore. I was big into crawling there for a little bit, but kind of got out of it once we got more into like uh, the monster truck, rally cars, 
just the fun stuff, stuff that just super fast, super fun, on and off, not just one purpose. But yeah, if you guys want to see any uh, more content of this thing, just go ahead and let me know. Um, I probably at some point will be doing the Hobby Wing motor up and e ESC upgrade, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, the biggest thing I'm trying to build right now is my dually. It's broken at the moment, so while we wait for the Sun Racing F450 parts to show up, uh, we're just going to be making content on all the other RC cars. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and smash that subscribe button. We are trying to get monetized, you guys, so we can go ahead and keep making some more sweet content for you guys. I would love to do this every single day for you guys. It's I really enjoy it. I enjoy making the content for you guys, even though sometimes things don't work out correctly, like having dead batteries. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Peace.